Hi, folks. Welcome in. of F, so F is a whole. Oh, Lily, bastos na naman. That is just dog out there. F is green. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. It could be a square, four dots, but I usually uh, draw it like uh, two triangles. Where's my other? Hold on a second. <laughs> it's right down here. So I, I just made a little um, cardboard casing for my my sketchbook that I take when I go uh, on my warrior's walk and this came to mind I just drew out the chakra system shall we say it's also the frequencies it's also numerology it's also color so uh, what I'm going to be sharing for the abundance of uh, forever <laughs> is uh, that this universe no matter if you're of any religious denomination or belief system or don't believe in anything anyways or whatever the universe we'll just call it universe uh, it's created and made up of We'll just call it energy no matter if you think of electrical energy health energy sound energy um color essentially we'll just call it energy or in star wars they call it the force or you know physics can depict it as um as anything like that what i just mentioned there light frequency um sound plasma quantum it doesn't matter really um religions call it holy spirits god um other spiritual realms call it like the ether or or whatever honestly it's there it's the invisible it's the thing it's the it um but the it the energy the universe shows itself to us in um even scientifically speaking in frequencies so um and us as humans we we also developed or found out uh mathematics which is just a, a simple way of 
keeping track of frequency. Um, I, really, I'm just trying to simplify a lot of the a lot of the spiritual teachings, and even for the non-believers of spirit, the scientific teachings, because essentially it's just two languages speaking of the same thing, explaining it in different terms. But it's all the same. Again, no matter what scientific background, mathematical background, religious, belief system, whatever, it's all speaking of the same stuff. And it comes down to vibrations, itty bitty invisible particles, the force, energy, and frequency. Um, so, with that being said, you, the universe shows itself in many different forms. To me, this is one of the most simplistic. It shows mathematics, it shows colors, it shows, spiritually speaking, like the chakra system, and it shows uh, relationships between uh, particles and or numbers. Um, here's a funny thing too, is this, the universe speaks to us more profoundly in symbols rather than language or logical logical thought forms okay so symbolically and subconsciously this probably speaks more volumes than many things out there anyways one red chakra root two orange uh sacral line it's the second dimension you hit the third dimension in the yellow the yellow is uh the sacral will uh it's the um did i just call it sacral sacral um yellow chakra gut chakra intuitive <laughs> i forget what it's called anyways it's a triangle third dimension and once you have third dimensions you have essentially space okay uh fourth dimension it's like the two triangles two things of space connecting relationship to one another green is also uh f again I'll, I'm, I'm jumping around but i'm just giving you the 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 kind of the the idea of what all of this entails five blue star that's uh it's something on the long the lines of even blue and five is uh if you want to go into the angel realm it's like saint uh saint michael micario yeah michael so if you you want to get like archangel michael you know i get that kind of feeling you just tap into like this blue blue uh five-pointed star Five-pointed star also depicts a lot of what Plato uh, discovered. Platonic solids, how the universe is made up of, uh, and that's even the atoms and molecules, electrons, protons, and everything is depicted right there. The golden mean is depicted in the, the five-pointed. As you can see, we're, we've gone up dimensions, you know, if the universe started as a dot, and then it, it expanded into one dimension, like a, a two dimensions, really. And the line three, four, five. Here's a six pointed star. You could draw that. I kind of messed up a little bit at the bottom. But anyways, if you draw that without lifting your pencil, that gives it a lot of extra energy. Um, the other six pointed star is depicted as, as a lot of people know, like the star of David which is kind of the middle of the Sri Yantra, which is like that bigger geometrical shape. But anyways, I like using the this six-pointed star because uh, folks like Lily, don't you dare. Um, we'll just say it, it just has more of a magical some subconscious uh, meaning when you, you draw out the six like that. Seven is like this. You know, you get into the indigos. And I just used eight as black here. Usually you could use it as white because it's the collection of all of this. But right now I didn't have white on me. 
Or do they have a white Sharpie? That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, I put the eight-pointed star like that. So, um, this is kind of like the beginnings of a frequency, mathematical, chakra, spiritual, uh, scientific, and depiction of what the universe is. Okay, very basic, but this is where it, it starts out as. Then on this side, I just did it, and I didn't have all the colors, but um, I just depicted it more of a s circular. So that gives more of a, a rounded feel also. Um, I just wanted to share that. Anyways, here's some stuff I was working on. We'll get into, uh, I, I'm, I don't know, because the weather's getting nicer and more rocks. <laughs> Stones and rocks are, are showing themselves to me. And as the shamans do, you speak to like, you know, the trees, the birds, the, the bugs, the dirt, and the rocks. So um, we'll start off with these little tiny ones. I, I, again, I'm doing a lot of the sacred geometry kind of thing on these little tiny rocks. And um, I'm also studying a lot of uh, graphic images and combining all the colors. Now the graphic images I'll get to in a second, but again, this is like, these are little, like little ruin rock things that you could meditate on, which is really cool great what you can do with a sharpie <laughs> a sharpie and rocks but uh here's again I, I like the chipped ones for some reason right now the chipped ones it's blank on this side but on this side i put so as you can see like um either butterfly or uh more geometric shapes coming in there i'm tossing in a lot of hearts and snakes are pretty cool these days and also, you can see the alien, I'm <clears throat> sorry, the alien kind of face coming through. And also, a day of the dead kind of feel to it is coming through these. There's another one. It's chipped. Oh, Lily, I'm doing bijo. You can't be barking when I'm doing bijo now. And I'm adding in a little bit of astrological stuff in there like sun moon the snakes and then the day of the dead faces there i got to put a mouth in here somewhere but and then on the sides oh, let's go to this one this one's a cool one again it's a chipped rock Trust me, I, I got a method to the madness here. The chip rocks, when you put them all together, it makes a big, a cool little face. Um, I'm doing a lot of studying pine cones and the way like 5 and 8 and Fibonacci sequences go into, into flowers and pine cones. So that's what that's all about. And then I put a little face here, which is cool. Again, heart for love, snakes to get the, the kundalini feeling. And now the Day of the Dead... Uh, kind of thing is coming into play here so I like this one and again alien like you know what I mean like I'm, I'm mixing a lot of concepts here uh, alien day of the dead there's something really cool uh, I gotta make t-shirts did I just do that one? Oh yeah here so on this one it's not done yet but I'm gonna make this one gold and silver Again, a chipped rock, kind of blank on this side, but then on this side I, I put, yeah, it's half of a face, so that's the chip side. This is like the right side of a, of a skull. So this one's really cool. Again, blank on the... Uh, Did I just show that one? And these two I did last night. <laughs> A little bit of ale, aluin, al aluin? Holy smokes. 
an owl alien. <coughs> owl alien and Day of the Dead is this one. I like this one. And I'm, I'm watching a lot of Lucha Underground, the wrestling. So, uh, like the Lucha, Lucha Libre mask kind of style is coming into these. Um, and on this side, I put it now. Because it just felt like it. But then again, like when you turn it in different ways, it looks. Also, it's a skull. If you like, see the owl's feathers become like the teeth of the. And then I put a little um, Play-Doh-ness on there. <laughs> and this guy's not done yet either. I'll, I'm going to do something on that side. You can, oh my god, you already see the face in there. But it's also on this side. So this pops out the, the Day of the Dead kind of feeling. I like putting the, like, the dark black eyes there. So that's what, that's rockology. Here's an old sketch. When I was working at some, I don't know, man, I made a lot of money that year. She's in the, she's in the fires. No, skies, skies in the fires. I don't know. But I wanted to show some of these old, these old uh, cardboard box drawings. These cardboard box drawings, is it's kind of a story. It's about this alien dude comes down to Earth, tries to figure shit out in, on Earth. I don't know, that would make a nice t-shirt. So here's that alien dude again. This isn't done. This guy's wondering what the fuck's up with Flat Earth. Here's some really cool... it as a folder oh wow look at all these I'm just showing me just getting these all out because uh, I, I'm kind of it's the springtime it's spring cleaning so oh there's when I was studying uh, that's the ecliptic that's what the universe does it's a crazy little I don't know what the hell that is Howley ish. So I'm just like cleaning these all out. I don't know. I'm going to be selling a bunch, making more, uh, giving some away. Oh, me and Matthew, uh, me and Benjamin did this one. I remember that. Faint flower there. There's a bunch of planets. Oh, I like this one. That's a nice one. I gotta finish that. There's an octopi on there.
Look at that on the bottom. Oh, here's Alien Dude again, flying through the universe. I know, I was feeling matrixy that day. Jeez, that's a nice one. Silver and gold. Silver and gold flowers. This is a tree of life, flower of life kind of a thing. Uh, there's a seed, it's an eye, and there's an apple falling, so it's kind of like the Garden of Eden. I get you can kind of turn it upside down, so it's like grounding. I guess I was feeling grounded that day. Oh. Benjamin and I did this. There's some old geometric shapes. There's an isometric drawing. There's a little alien dude figuring out what colors and bubbles are all about. Super, I like this one. This is kind of a, a being that has been following me around many, oh, my whole life. She looks like that too, or these ones back here. This is a version of her. Put her there. Okay, so that's a bunch of those. And the late... Oh yeah, I wanted to show you. Inside my little book here. It's for my old notations. Oh, there it is. This was yesterday. Just quick. This one's a nice one. This fairy came by. Soon. Oh yeah, there's that one. Where is he? This is a cool one. <sighs> okay, so that's that. And the latest of the late, like the to show this one. I don't know if I showed this one before, or this one's looking nice. <laughs> See, with this kind of stuff, what would look nice? You put like this on, like, this is like, well, they're napkins, but <laughs> whatever. Then you put this stuff on. And you could put your crystals and stuff on it. That's what these are for. I, I put my crystals and my rocks on here. And it makes a, a cool crystal grid. But I don't know if I showed this one. Is that how it goes? Yeah. But that and this is going to go together. 
I found out, like, I gotta put black in here. But it's gonna go together and it'll look really cool. And if I want to extend them, they be bigger. But this is cool. This is the latest of those. I can finish that. Oh yeah, and light languages. Light language is coming through me uh, like a bolt of lightning. Okay, Lily, that's enough. That's about it out of me for today. And we'll just do one oracle reading from the great Bruce Lee, Striking Thoughts. Alright, it goes like this. This is good. The end of spiritual training. <whistles> Not to localize or partialize is the end of spiritual training. When it is nowhere, it is everywhere. When it occupies one tenth, it is absent in the other nine tenths. Let a person discipline himself to have the mind go on its own way instead of trying deliberately to confine it somewhere. It is the one without opposite, infinite and unceasing. Jesus Christ, Bruce. <laughs> that deserves to be read again. The end of spiritual training. Not to localize or partialize is the end of spiritual training. When it is nowhere, it is everywhere. When it occupies one-tenth, it is absent in the other nine-tenths. Let a person discipline himself to have the mind go on its own way, instead of trying deliberately to confine it somewhere. It is the one without opposite, infinite and unceasing. Got nothing else to say. <laughs> All right. Peace. Namaste. Thanks for watching. And uh, take care of one another. And um, yeah, we'll talk soon.